Android 6.0, also known as Android Marshmallow, was officially released in October 2015. 10 months later, that is August 2016, Android 7 released. Also known as Android Nougat. There's Nougat inside here, right? And here, and here. And while Android Nougat has officially released, it's only currently available on phones like the Nexus 5X, the Nexus 6P, the Nexus 5X, oh wait, I said that already. I mean, and the two year old Nexus 6, which I no longer own, but if you have one, you're due for an update. But today I'd like to compare how a stock version of Android Marshmallow differs to a stock version of Android Nougat. That way, if you own a Nexus, you can see what you're in for if you haven't gotten the update yet. Or if you own a non-Nexus device running Android Marshmallow, you can anticipate what it'll be like when you get it a few weeks from now, or a few months, or ever. It's okay, buddy. I still love you. All right, so both of these phones are Nexus 5Xs. The only difference here is one is running Android 6.0.1, actually, Android Marshmallow, while the other Nexus 5X is running Android 7.0, Android Nougat. <laughs> When I swipe from the top down to get into my notifications, on Marshmallow when I swipe down once, I get the time and the date and any notifications I might have. On Nougat when I swipe down once, I actually get a quick toggle bar. So I can toggle my Wi-Fi on and off, I can toggle things like the flashlight, do not disturb, so on and so forth. When I swipe down again, the menus on both look a little different as well. On Nougat, I'm able to edit my quick toggle icons. Let's go ahead and get into our settings. You'll notice here that the settings on Nougat are a little more detailed than what it gives you on Marshmallow. For example, your Wi-Fi is telling you what network you're on, if your Bluetooth is enabled or disabled, how much data usage you've been using. For the sound, it shows the ringer volume here, how many apps are installed. It gives you a little more detail without even having to click into the actual settings. In the settings as well, you get suggestions telling you things that you might want to do to improve your experience on the phone. And on Nougat, when you swipe from left to right, you get a menu here as well. Kind of like a quick settings menu. It's typically the same settings, but it's a quick way to get from one place to another on your phone. For example, let's say we're in the display. And then we go into, say, the wallpaper settings. But let's say I wanted to go into another setting. On Marshmallow, to do that, you'd have to hit the back button. Hit the back button again. And then let's say we need to take a look at security. So that's like three menus in. On Nougat, you just pull the menu bar here, go ahead and swipe down, hit security. It just makes things a little more efficient. In your recent apps tab, uh, let's say for example, you wanna go ahead and use Chrome. If you wanna switch into, let's say another app like YouTube, you go ahead on Marshmallow and just click the app. And if you want to go back to Chrome, you can go ahead and click back. There is a new shortcut on Nougat. So instead of taking the recent apps tab and clicking YouTube and then going back to it, you can just go ahead and double tap the recent apps tab and it will switch you back and forth. Doesn't save you a ton of time, but it is a lot more efficient. And you know what they say about efficiency. I don't know. <laughs> Nougat has also implemented a clear all apps function. You can go ahead and scroll to the top here, hit clear all, everything will be out of memory. On Marshmallow, you don't have that option. If you wanna take everything down, you're still gonna to have to go ahead and scroll everything off. <laughs> One of the big differences between Android 7.0 Nougat and Android 6.0 Marshmallow is its multi-window function. What I mean is, let's say for example on Marshmallow, I'm in Chrome, I'll do it in Nougat as well, and let's say I wanna view something on YouTube, watch something on YouTube. So I can go ahead and I can go in the app on YouTube here, 
Instead of having to switch from one app to the other, you can actually split the screen here and do both at once. How you do that is you hold this button down, you'll see this splits up right here. You can go ahead and click the window, hit play, and while this video is playing, you can still do other things over here on Chrome. So while you surf here, you can still watch the video or at least pay attention to it partially. This also works in landscape mode. So this might be more efficient or more effective for you. And then when you're done, you can just go ahead and close that off and then just go back to your normal surfing. Android 7 Nougat has more emoji than Android 6 Marshmallow does. Some of the emoji are updated as well. For example, if you see the sunglasses here, they differ from the one on Marshmallow. It's not a big deal, but again, you get more emoji. You have the clown one over here, a cowboy. You have this gumdrop that's really ill. The emoji in Marshmallow and Nougat are different here as well. They look more human-like on Nougat. You can also change skin tone of the people, so you can have it a lighter or darker skin tone. Can't do that on here. And you also get the bacon emoji, which is a personal favorite of mine. Again, it's not gonna change the world, but I could always use more emoji. Another one of the differences in Android 7.0 Nougat is the way you receive notifications. So for example, I texted myself with a very humbling message. And the difference here is if I reply to it in Android Nougat, I can reply to it right here. and I can go ahead and send it. But on Marshmallow, for example, when I go ahead and hit reply, it opens up another window, does it a little differently. What you can do when you receive these messages are different as well. So for example, on Marshmallow, if I were to hold this down, I get a little information here about the app and I can go ahead and I can block it or whatever. But on Nougat, if I hold it down right here, I get that notification right away. Just a quicker way of doing it. If I wanted to dig in deeper, then I can go into more settings and then I'll get the same kind of screen here. The battery life on Nougat claims to be better. We're gonna actually have to see if that's true. Because I've been using the Android developer version of Android Nougat on my Nexus 6P, we're gonna have to see if I can get better than the maybe like two and a half to like three hours of screen on time I've been getting on it. My battery life hasn't been the best. Well, it's been pretty bad actually since I've had the developer preview version. But now that I'm on an official release of Android Nougat, we'll take a look and see how that goes. Okay, to make a long story short, after updating my Nexus 6P to Android 7.0 Nougat, the official version, not the developer preview, my battery has been great. Right now I am at 9% and I have over four hours and 20 minutes of screen on time. I just wanted to show that I actually only had the phone on Wi-Fi for the first hour of the day. I pulled the phone at around nine o'clock this morning. So it's been over 16 hours. I went from 100%, I'm down to 9%. It's been on LTE like 95% of the time. There's a little blip here where I actually had the phone off by accident, but I've never put it on the charger. As far as the display goes, it's been on adaptive brightness the entire time. Battery saver has never been turned on. Here are the few things that I used. I used a lot of YouTube today, actually. Hangouts, Facebook, just the social media apps like I normally do. You can see here that it was pulled 16 hours ago. Right now, four hours and 24 minutes of screen on time. That's great to see, especially for a phone that I've owned for over nine months, I believe. And then even when we dig into the battery settings here, you can see that it's been on Wi-Fi only for the first hour. It's been on LTE the other entire time, or it's been on LTE the entire time after that. So I'm glad to see that my battery is back to where it used to be, especially on LTE as well. Getting four and a half hours of screen on time, I can't complain. This will get you through a whole day, no problem. The official release of Nougat so far has seemed pretty stable in the 24 plus hours I've been using it. Mind you, I've been using the alpha and beta versions of Nougat or Android N for the past few months prior, so it's not all that new to me. Performance has been solid, the refinement in its OS is a welcoming touch, and honestly, if you're not up to date with the latest and greatest on Android, that's kind of unfortunate. But maybe I'm just a tech junkie that needs his fix. And if you don't care, I'd be really surprised since you're watching this. There are so many other little tweaks 
tweaks in Android's OS I didn't mention, the notifications are actually a lot more organized and, for lack of a better term, polished than I showed, a lot can be done within the notification screen alone, Nougat is better prepped for VR, updates will now be seamless instead of having to wait again and again for app optimizing, you can do little things like add seconds to the clock on your status bar, increase your display size for those with less than stellar vision, and I could go on and on but I won't because it's the end of the video. Somebody's got to eat it. The marshmallow was getting a little stale. <laughs> <laughs>